Protests are also planned right here in Connecticut. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Shante Passmore is live. She is in New Haven, where we understand Shante demonstrators are expected to gather. Mark, as we've seen from coast to coast, demonstrators are taking their disbelief to the streets. And here in New Haven, it'll be no different as they call for justice for Breonna Taylor. And yes, that demonstration, that protest is actually supposed to be underway. It was supposed to start at five, but it hasn't started yet based on where we're standing here on the green. Now, Black Lives Matter New Haven is spearheading this event and say that Breonna Taylor deserved so much more. And here's why the outrage. We just touched on it a little bit earlier. Yesterday, a Kentucky grand jury brought no charges against three Louisville officers for the killing of Taylor back in March. This happened inside her apartment during a flub no knock warrant raid. A former detective faces three counts of wanton endangerment for shooting into a home next to Taylor's. So the outrage by protesters stems from the question if one of the officers engaged in conduct that created danger of death or serious harm to another person under Kentucky law, then why did it not apply to Taylor's life? And again, none of the officers involved in Taylor's killing have been charged. And so that again is why protesters are demanding justice for her. And tonight protesters say the fight is far from over, but at six, we'll check back in with you right here from the protest as soon as it gets underway. Live in New Haven, Shantae Passmore, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.